what is the difference, say, between venture capital and private equity or venture capital and angel investors? Just a real quick one for people to understand. Well, um, and, and some people disagree about that. In fact, I think there is a section on the book that says the difference between venture capital and private equity. And yeah. I, I make jokes about it, too, sometimes. But I think in general, VCs are investing in loss-making businesses. So that means that at the time that you know, Rubicon Venture Capital will wire money to the startup, the startup has operating expenses that are higher than their revenues, right? So they're not profitable, they're loss-making. And a VC invests in these loss-making businesses, and then the valuation goes up very fast. So if you, you know, in the last six months, our portfolio has doubled in value, you know, and, and, and these are companies that are spending our investor money to grow quickly, okay? A private equity fund often is investing in profitable companies. They're looking for EBITDA positive companies and then they'll invest in this profitable business and then they'll do a few things like they'll borrow a ton of money creating debt. They might be borrowing 12x the equity dollars they're putting in and they'll, they'll buy Ircom, the telecom network operator in Ireland. They'll buy Tele Denmark TDC, and they'll get so much debt on that thing that it starts to change the tax structure. And then they'll go and sell off the uh, you know yellow pages division or something. And they actually got all their money back just on that alone. And then they'll lever up the broadband to ninety five percent of revenue with debt because it's now just a utility. So I think of private equity is they are doing cold calls to good businesses saying, we want to buy some of your business and make some changes. VCs are receiving inbound avalanche of 10,000 plus deals a year seeking funding. And then we're trying to figure out the best ones and muscle in, you know, but I mean, when you, what has changed? So in 2001, we had a big, you know, dot com meltdown, right? The IPO market closed, valuations were down. It was almost impossible to start a business on the internet and raise money, whereas there was a ton of money leading up to the big meltdown. In 2008, we, you know, we had the credit crunch was August 07. By September 08, had the Sequoia good times, rest in peace, you know, slides went out. And so that was the official second, you know, meltdown that we had in the internet venture capital space. What my understanding is that the big pools of money, the big $25 million check writing guys, the endowments, the pension funds, the insurance companies, the banks, the single family offices, the multifamily offices, the big, big, big pools of money, like the Rockefeller family fortune, all that kind of stuff. They, they thought strangely that venture capital looks safer than real estate. So instead of the VC funds getting smaller, more money at, in 2008 got pushed into venture capital. Hmm. And so what happened was VCs that had a $200 million fund closed funds that were 500 million, 700, 1.2 billion. So we watched VC funds that used to be 50 million type dollar funds become mega funds. But these guys didn't hire a ton of people or invest in their own business. They just split those management fees and got bigger houses. So what ended up happening is that the typical VC fund went from having a couple guys trying to invest 50 million and then exit 200 or 500 million, all of a sudden had to manage much, much bigger funds. All the middle funds of 50 million to 250 failed to raise more money. And so the change that we saw in the venture capital was the big funds got bigger, the middle funds became zombies, they sort of died off. And then um, angels started fueling everything for true venture capital. So angel investors in 2006 started to really take off. They were filling in the missing gap from 01, 02, 03. Then they started professionalizing a bit. And even I was involved with creating one of the, probably the best angel groups. 
And then we were adding value to the startup. So you've got to add value. It can't just be money. And so now we've seen a big surge of new small micro VC where they're doing very early stage investments, investing in large portfolios. And then at the same time, the VCs moved downstream to what starts to look a little bit like private equity, but they still have the spirit of investing in loss-making businesses.